In the news today, speeding bus flips and land in a drain opposite Graham's primary school industry, East Coast Demerara on Saturday. Police acting on information, went to Golden Fleece Village, West Coast Berbice, on Saturday where they met Joshua Bob, a miner of Lot 37 South Bryhide Lust, East Coast Demerara. He was hiding between some bushes in a lonely area. On seeing the ranks, the man began to run. The ranks give chase and he was apprehended with a blue and black haversack on his back, which contained ganja. Bandits caught sorting stolen loot. Two robbers caught on camera sorting valuables after a series of robberies in the Stavrok area recently. The bandit in the blue is believed to be a known character to the police and goes by the name Oza. The body of 23-year-old Roy Ross was earlier this morning found dead with multiple stab wounds. Murdered is Roy Ross who was found dead at his home in Swan Village, Lyndon Sozdyke on Sunday. Man snatches driver phone while car is moving. People please roll up your windows once you have 8C or halfway up if you don't have 8C. Partly decomposed body believed to be that of missing teenager found in the Demerara River. The body was taken to the Ezekiel Funeral Home awaiting post-mortem examination. A missing persons report was put out for Joel Skeet who disappeared on March 31, 2021. He was last seen leaving a barber shop at Harbor Bridge Mall on the east bank of Demerara. According to his missing report, the 18-year-old was clad in a dark gray long pants and dark red t-shirt. Police constable beaten, robbed by five bandits. 24-year-old Razim Ibrahim, a police constable stationed at Brickdam Police Station attached to the Enquirer's office was reportedly robbed of one gold chain, one gold band and one gold ring, total valve at $600,000 on Monday at Long Pond, Sister Village, West Bank Demerara, by five bandits. According to reports, the victim had just exited his motor car to go purchase some items from a shop in the area, when he was approached by the two of the men. One held onto his neck from behind, while the other punched him to his face. However, the victim put up a resistance and as a result, the other three males then joined in and began hitting the victim several times about his body with a bottle. They subsequently took away the items mentioned and made good their escape on foot. Investigations are ongoing.